tonight the Reds are at Silver Street taking on Earlham and they'll be looking to extend their unbeaten streak to five games. Gardner gets the better of Monk and gets away from him. Comes inside to find a little bit of space. Lays it out wide to Mather. Quickly closed down by Pegg. He still fires in a shot which is blocked. And Hilton is able to clear up field. Stenhouse gets there ahead of Williamson, then shoots like a defender, but it rolls through to Chart, who could take advantage as Petru comes off his line. Chart slots it underneath of him to give AFC Liverpool the lead on 12 minutes. And Sean Chart claims his third goal in as many games as Richard Stenhouse's attempted shot turned into the perfect pass for Chart, and he kept his composure to slot it neatly under the advancing Petru. Torpy with the throw in finds Chart, who gives the return back to the left back. He's quickly closed down by Palmer, who concedes a corner. Gibbons delivers the corner into the box where Gardner meets it, but he can't direct his header on target. Torpy to Gibbons, who gives the return to Torpy, into the feet of McGann. Back to Stenhouse. Patient build up from the Reds as they look to find a way through Erling's defence. Now it's Gardner who brings it under control, shoots, but it goes harmlessly wide. Torpy with the throw in finds Stenhouse. His attempted ball forward is blocked, and Gibbons will pick up the loose ball and play it out to the right to find Mather. He's under the close attention of Pegg. But he turns and gets away from the Earlham player. Then he plays a ball into the edge of the box for Chart, but it's a finish that won't trouble Petru. Pegg with the ball across the field for Monk. He gives it on to Palmer, who gives it back to Monk. Now it's with Hindley. He spots the run of Burgess, who's found some space. He squares across the box for Pegg, who smashes into the roof of the net to bring Earlham level with their first incisive move of the match. Burgess peeled off his marker to find some space, and when his ball across the box came to Pegg, there was no one there to prevent the Earlham number 11 from firing past Christopher. McGarn out jumps Monk. Then Burgess takes the ball off Chart, lays it back to Petru. His clearance though only goes to Mather. He sidesteps a couple of challenges, the ball's loose and then McGarn's taken down by Monk and it's a free kick to AFC Liverpool. Chart will take the free kick and go for goal and Petru is forced to turn it behind for a corner. Sean Chart, who scored two free kicks from similar positions in his last two games, is unable to make it three and three on this occasion. Torpy hesitantly gives the ball back to Christopher, who clears long downfield. Burgess out jumps Gibbons. Then he loses out in the challenge to Rushton Woods, who plays a lovely through ball to Chart, who's onside. Petru comes off his line, but Chart calmly pokes the ball past him into the bottom corner to restore AFC Liverpool's lead just before half time. That goal was about two things. Firstly, the tenacity of Rushton Woods to win possession, and secondly, the composure shown by Chart to finish off the move. Stenhouse with the header. It's fired back at the Reds defence and now it's O'Driscoll with a header. Gibbons helps it on. Hindley with a loose touch and then he compounds that by fouling McGarn and conceding the free kick. Torpy delivers the free kick to the edge of the box where Stenhouse knocks it past Brewer who came off of his line into the back of an empty net and three minutes into this second half AFC Liverpool lead by three goals to one. 
and Brewer decided to come off of his line to meet the ball. He needed to make sure he got to it, but he didn't, and Stenhouse merely had to flick it past him into the back of an empty net. McGarn finds Mather, who is faced by Burgess. Chooses to go down the outside towards the byline, but can't get a cross in. And Peg is able to get in a challenge and concede the corner. Mather drives in a low delivery to Gibbons, and he goes for a looping attempt, which lands on top of the net. Peg comes inside finds Williamson on the edge of the area. His layoff is picked up by McCluskey, though his clearance only goes as far as Haggis, who's brought down by a late challenge from Rushton Woods. Kelly knocks the ball into the box, straight onto the head of Hilton, and he doesn't do anything with a great opportunity to bring Erlen back into the game. Gibbons with a knock on finds Chart. Then he finds Mather and he's got a great opportunity to extend the lead, but he doesn't make anything of it. And it's a disappointing finish. Chart delivers the free kick into the box, looking for Gardner. But Hindley gets ahead to it and it goes behind for a corner to the Reds. Mather with the delivery picks out McCluskey and he goes for a volley, which flies over the bar. Stephen McCluskey making his first appearance for the Reds in two months. Not that far away from finding a spectacular finish. Stafford to McGarn. First time ball forward looking for Mather. And that's a mistake by Hilton. And Mather picks up the loose ball. Finds Chart in space on the edge of the area. His cross comes short and Stafford can't quite get on the end of it. Finley with a ball across field to pick out Vanden. He comes back in field and isn't closed down. And so he has time to spot the run of Williamson into the box. Williamson with space cuts back onto his right foot. Fires past Christopher to make it Earlham 2. AFC Liverpool 3. And it's going to be a tighter finish to this game than it should have been.